Good morning. I'm Foxy Sellers, and today I'm talking about comic books again. This is going to be a real quick video, a bit of an experiment that I've done where I had some books cleaned and pressed and sent some of them off to CGC. Now, I've never sent anything to CGC. I've been a comic book collector since I was nine years old and always liked the comic book itself. I want to read it. I want to touch it. I want to smell it. I want to you know, feel the nostalgic romanticism about it. But I have very recently bought a couple of CGC books. And so, you know, kind of to build up the CGC part of my collection, I'm sending some others to be sent to CGC. Kind of like a group, they go together. So maybe some amazing Spider-Man stuff like that, that I already have CGC. So going through that process, I want to share you, share with you briefly that experience. I sent two batches to be cleaned and pressed. And when the second batch came back, I got my books from CGC that came from the first cleaning and pressing. And I'm going to share kind of those intertwining experiences with you coming right up. Before I do, go ahead, click the like. Also subscribe to my video. You'll get keyed into stuff like this and hear about all my future endeavors. Let's get started. We are back in time and this will be my first submission to have cleaned and pressed. And some of these are going off to CGC. So uh, the first one I have, this this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 20. I've had this since I was a kid. It's been kept in pretty solid condition. As you can see, um, it does have a tiny little crease here, but it's not, uh, it is a color break crease a little bit, but if this is pressed, cleaned, there's a couple of dings in the cover. I, I don't know if you can quite tell there, but uh, they can get this out. I I'm hoping for at least maybe a 7.5. Um, the biggest reason I'd like to clean and press this is this is one I want to send off to CGC because I have Amazing Spider-Man 122 in CGC, and then I'll have coming up uh, 122, I'll submit that one as well. So I, I can kind of have them as a group and I'll probably get 119 in CGC. So this one should press out and look pretty nice when it's done. Should be a fairly decent grade. Uh, same with 122. This one's actually a much higher grade than the 120. So because I'm sending this off to CGC, I'm just going to have it pressed and clean. And, and if you you look at the, I don't know if the lighting hits it just right, but you can see that there's maybe some little dents in here that they can hopefully get out. There's one like right there. Um, other than that, it's in perfect condition. So uh, the color, uh, color looks great. So that's not going to be an issue. This is one since I'm since I'm attempting my first press, I'd like to send this one off. This one is just filthy. Uh, I don't know how much I can improve its its grade, but I know I'll get an improvement because you've got this stain here, which is pretty bad. And then if you flip it over, it's got a pretty bad stain here. There's no tears or oh, the, well, there's a little one right here, a little tear right there. Um, but other than that, the book is in it's it, it's it's pretty tight. It like it's it's in good condition. It's just filthy. It's got rust and it's got this writing on it. And, and I've never concerned myself with the writing on, on books unless it's like obnoxious. But other than that, I don't really care about it with a little writing on it. I mean, I prefer it to not be there, but not killing it. Don't care. OK, so the next one, this is one I'm not going to send this one off. I'm not sending this one to CGC. I'm not sending this one. But this is a really nice condition book. The staples are tight. There's no there's no dings in this. Um, corners are all really good. It's just discolored. So it might actually get a decent grade without cleaning it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it anyway. I'm not sending it to CGC, so it, it's just part of my kind of Steranko collection. The um, there's a little bit of foxing on on the edges here. But this is a book where you see this very often. This is typically a very discolored book anytime you come across it. So I just want to see if I can I can uh, take away some of that discoloration. Um, same with this book, too. So this is this is another one. I'm not sending it to CGC. I just like to get it a little cleaner. It, it, it's just darkened. Um, other than that, though, it's it's in really good condition. I mean, the staples are tight here. Um, corners are great. A little bit of foxing down here. Um, little bit of dirt here, 
But other than that, this will come out really great. So I, I'm, I'm hopefully taking some of these books and, and making them a little more pristine um, and then improving on the color of them. So this is one where it's actually all intact. However, it's got multiple ticks along the side. So there's nothing they can do about that. But if you tilt it in the light just right, you'll see that this is kind of crinkled a little bit. No color breaks, just, uh, just needs to be pressed. So a press would do this one really good. I don't plan on sending this one to CGC either, just because I have, I have 95, I have this one, I have 99, I have 101. I got a whole bunch of them and they're all in better condition than this one. So if I was gonna send them off, any of those off, they, you know, I would send those off before this one. I just wanna kind of get this one up to the caliber of the other ones, but it's got a lot of potential to just kind of, you know, clean, clean it up and, and its color looks good. A little bit of discoloration. So those were my marvels. Next is DC. This is one, uh, the Flash 172. I looked for this forever and it was so difficult to find in this good a condition. It, it even looks like it may have been pressed. There's one, two ticks, I believe. A um, little bit of color break there. And that is it. However, I noticed, and it, and it it, it, it definitely was pressed. It looks very, very clean um, and tight. Staples are perfectly intact. There looks like there might have been like a little bit of a stain there that, that, that got cleaned up. I'm gonna see if I can get that cleaned up even more. I don't need, it doesn't necessarily need the press, but the biggest reason is I really wanna send this to CGC. It's one of those books I had just looked for forever. It's really hard to find in a high condition. It has a really great cover, so anything you send off to CGC that is heavy on the cover is, is perfect for it. But I just love this cover and I love this book. This is one of my favorite uh, purchases that I got. So I'm gonna send that off to CGC once it comes back. Uh, here's one where, it, just like the X-Men book, where it's got a lot of kind of wrinkly parts of it could be pressed out and made a little bit better. It's got kind of like, you know, a banged up corner here. No folds that I can see, but like a little bit of foxing or just dirt there. A lot of foxing there, dirt. Um, this could just be cleaned up and improved upon. There is a little corner missing here, um, but not a big deal. I'm not getting it, I'm not getting it CGC'd, so I don't really care. Um, and this is one just like the Captain America and the Hulk one where it's it's very discolored. I wanna see if they can clean this up a little bit. I'm certainly not gonna send this off to CGC. It's it's not in the greatest condition, but I mean, staples are perfectly intact. It's got a couple of ticks here and there. Um, it just doesn't, it just doesn't uh, glow like some of the other woods. And it's got a little bit of foxing. It's just dirty. It's a dirty book. Um, but Neil Adams got a lot of really great Neil Adams artwork in it. I just, I love these Neil Adams books. Um, okay, and so this one, this one is actually in relatively decent con condition, except for it's got the mailer crease. Fortunately, though, there's really no color breaking in this crease. So, you know, back in the day when people would order books, they'd get them in the mail and they would fold them in half and put them in their mailbox. It doesn't look like this was pressed or anything. So what I'd like to do is see if they can get any more of that pressing out. I'm not sending it to CGC, so it's not a big concern there, but uh, would like to kind of get that crease out of there. And then finally, this one, it's just dirty, but it is in excellent condition. It's got a little bit of fox in there. Uh, staples are really tight. Uh, most of the corners are okay, foxing up there. And it's just, just kind of dirty. So I'd like to improve on that. So what I'd like to do is once once those come back, I'd like to do another video just to show, you know, what the what the improvement was, see how noticeable it is um, in comparison to each other. And then I may or may not have the three that I'm sending off to CGC included in it because those might just go off right away. But we'll see what the grade is when it comes back. OK, here we go. This is the return books of comics that I got. They were, you know, they've been pressed. Um, this is one that I'm actually sending off to CGC. Um, as you can see, it this is one that originally didn't need much of a press, but because it's going to CGC, I figured I'd press it. Um, I don't see any noticeable improvement, really. 
Um, but it's clean, it's nice. It's, um, you know, I, I'm hoping I can get a nine on this, um, but we'll see. I don't see any real, there might be like the tiniest tick there, but other than that, it's clean, it's flat. Um, there's no little nicks on the surface. So let's see what happens with that when it comes back. And, and I'll do a, I'll, I'll add that to the end of this video. So I won't, I won't produce this video until these come back from CGC. Um, the same goes with this one. This one isn't as nice a condition. Um, after the press, I still see that there's a little bit of like indentation there, but overall, this is relatively flat. So I'm, I'm thinking this one might have gotten a half grade improvement. Um, this is the one that went over that had the most damage. I'm not sending this off to CGC or anything like that, but now it's nice and flat. It's got a clean surface. However, this is an extremely dirty book. And the presser that I sent it to uh, didn't really get any, it didn't get it any cleaner, I'll say that. So, um, you know, maybe I could find a different presser that can really get some of these clean. I've seen guys that can get the, the ink off of this. I'm, I'm not that concerned with the ink, to be honest with you, but, you know, a little bit of cleaning there. But overall, this is a flatter book. I think it got a half a grade bump just from the cleaning or just from the, the pressing thing. Uh, this is one that was a much darker book. It might be a little lighter. I can't quite tell. The foxing is still there, um, but maybe slightly improved. But it's, you know, nice, clean, flat surface now. Uh, the back is relatively about the same, but this is actually a really decent book. If I could actually take this to somebody that could really clean it, um, this book would, you know, this is like, close to eight, five or nine if it were clean. But so um, right now I would probably grade it as a six, five just because of the discoloration, maybe a seven. Um, this was kind of the same situation, but only um, the foxing is down here on the bottom. Um, it's flat, it's clean, it's nice. Um, it's just got, I shouldn't say it's clean. It's, it's flat, its surface is nice, but the, um, the overall color is just, you know, a little down. It, I, I didn't notice before that it had a little bit of a, a fold there, but it's relatively in decent shape. So this one's a six, six and a half, maybe five um, also, but I'm not sending that off to CGC. This is the one that had the most significant improvement um, just because it was crinkled like all over it. And now it's mostly a flat surface. There's still a little bit. It's got some ticks on the side, but that wasn't something that they can fix. Um, so this one maybe jumped a grade, uh, at, if not more. So I'm, um, you know, this could, this is now probably a, a seven and a half, seven. So um, not something I'm sending to CGC. Now this is one that was already in really great shape. It may have been pressed before I got it. I'm sending this one to CGC just because this is so difficult to find in, in a high grade. And I just love this color the cover. This is one of my favorite. It's, it's probably my favorite flash book that I have. And one now it's one of my favorite DC books that I have too. Older, I, I think this counts as Silver Age. Uh, there's one, two, really small tick there, three. But other than that, it's really, really great. And then there was some slight staining here on the back that's what really hurts it and it doesn't look like much of that got picked up so um still gonna send it off i love this book it's it's very very presentable and we'll see what we get for it um, i'm hoping it's it's at least like an eight five i don't know how much that staining um will affect it and we'll find out because this video will have the result when it comes in this is one i hoped it would it would whiten up a little bit but it didn't really um, but it's very flat, it looks good. Um, so yeah, can't ask for much more on that one. Um, this one was the same thing, only this one was a lot like the X-Men where it was very crinkled. Um, and we, I see some improvement, but there's still, you know, there, there's actually some color breaks here on the crinkling, which you can't do anything about. But overall, this is a much, much flatter book. Looks good, uh, still the discoloration. So, you know, maybe I need to find a, a clean impressor that can do a lot more with the actual cleaning of it versus the pressing. Now this is one, I was a little disappointed at this one. 
this one had the subscription crease all the way through the middle and it was pretty bad, but there was no collar breaks. So I was hoping they could almost get that out. But if you can see right here, it's still got the crease and you can see almost the line right there um, when you look at it from that angle. So it didn't quite get it out. I don't know if that's something that you can, you know, almost get to a point where it's not noticeable. This is a really great looking book otherwise. So it's disappointing that that, that crease is there. Um, I don't think this is something I would I would get CG seed, so I'm just gonna maybe deal with it the way it is. It's 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 still a very presentable book, and I like it that way. So um, okay, and then finally, this this book had some discoloration to it, a lot of foxing on it. Um, it's flatter, it's it's nicer looking, but it still has some discoloration. So um, that's where I'm at with this. But uh, this isn't something I'm sending off either. So we'll, uh, you know, I'll just go in, the, go in the file with the rest of the book, with the rest of my Supermans, and and that's that. So, all right, we will circle back when these come back. I will be doing another press and clean submission, so I wanted to kind of keep track of what I had, see what I got, see what the changes will be when I match the videos up at the end. Uh, but starting with this. This is one, I've had this since I was a kid. It's got a lot of little, I don't know if you can see them quite from here, but there's all kinds of little wrinkles here. It's in relatively really great shape. Um, some non-color breaking ticks along here, um, but would benefit from a press. And I am thinking about submitting this one um, because it's, it's a, you know, pretty, Pretty decent value. Um, same with this one. This one has got a, just a little bit of non-color breaking ticks. There's one color breaking tick here. Um, but this one might present well if I put it in a case. Now this one, this is interesting. I had purchased this off of Heritage. It's an 8.0 and when it came to me in the mail, it looked like it was an older CGC submission. It had been in the case for quite some time, probably like 2014 ish. And it looked like there was some heat damage because the the label at the top was warped. And when I looked at this book, it looked like it had a little bit of warping on the side here. Um, it's not as bad now that I've gotten it out of I've cracked it out of the CGC casing but it could benefit from a press. And then I notice it's got a little bit of indentation here um, and then a little bit on the back. Not much, I mean, it's a pretty decent book. I mean, it looks like an 8.0. I think I might be able to get a, a grade bump to maybe even a nine, um, assuming I'm not missing any little pieces of damage, but it's, it's, and there's a little bit of tear wear on the corner here. So maybe it wouldn't get it. Um, but it should get an A5 at least. So I'm, you know what? I might not even submit that one. I actually just want to have that book the, the way it is. Um, this one I've had forever. It, it looks like it's got almost like a subscription crease in it. So a, a clean and press would benefit this one. And I'm not going to submit it, but it, it, uh, it's a book that definitely is of value to me in a better condition. So I recently got this one at a comic book show. And it's got a similar crease in it that I didn't notice when I bought it. The price wasn't bad, but now that I see that crease when I got it home, yeah, it's it's it was probably worth it, but it's really tight otherwise. And if I could press it so that it's not, it's not color breaking, so it might completely disappear with a, with a press. This is one, I literally bought this one yesterday. Um, it was, it was, it looked mint, but I didn't take it out of the bag. And then when I got it home, I realized it's got some kind of like a little bit of uh, warping there. Um, so since I'm doing these, I'm just gonna press this one. It's worth it, cause it's a, you know, it's a really great book. Um, and then this one I, I got uh, off of Hip Comics not too long ago. And it's got a crease here, a crease there. If you look at the way the, the light hits it, you can see that there's some indentations here and there. Uh, I think this would drastically improve it if I got a press for this one. So these are the ones I'm sending off today. 
And uh, there's two of them that I'm gonna submit to CGC when they come back. Okay, here we go. So here's the books that came back. Uh, this is the second batch of pressings. Some of these I did intend to send to CGC. Uh, first one being Amazing Spider-Man 194. This is a book I've had since I was a kid. Um, and there was maybe some crinkles and stuff, uh, maybe a little bit of crinkling here that got completely pressed out. I think this went from a uh, maybe an eight to maybe an eight five. So I'm happy with that. Uh, and that one I had intended to send that one to CGC, but I looked at the price. And if you're talking about an 8.5 or even a 9.0, the value of it is less if it's a 9.5 or lower. A 9.2, that's when the price starts to go up for it. So it's not worth it for me to send that off. So I've decided not to. Next one is Batman 423. This is the Todd McFarlane cover. Uh, they got out a lot of little cranks. I got, you know, I had this since I was a kid. I bought this when it came out. Um, however, I'm noticing that there are a, a handful of ticks on here, color breaking ticks and I've decided it's probably not worth it to send this off. So I'm just going to keep this the way it is, but now it's cleaner um, and flatter. Next one is Green Lantern, Green Arrow, number 87. This was one, I bought this as a CGC and I cracked it open. And the reason I cracked it open was because when it came in, it had all of this um, waviness to the edge of it. Um, and the top and even the the label on the top of the CGC had some waviness to it. So I believe it was it was uh, damaged from heat. So I was like, I'm going to take it out, press it. I believe it was a it was it was graded as an 8.5. I think I, it's even improved on. There is nothing really I can find wrong with it. It looks perfectly flat now. There's no crinks or creases in it. Um, there might be like a, one dot of fox in there, but that's about it. I mean, I might be able to get a nine out of this, I'm hoping, so um, we'll see. But this is one I think I'm gonna send to CGC and then re have it regraded, as it were. Okay, this next one, this is another one that I had as a kid and it had a lot of crinks and creases. This is one I was just trying to improve the, the value of it. And it went from, you know, it probably went from like, you know, maybe a six, five to maybe a seven, seven, five now. I mean, it does still have like sort of a subscription crease, barely, barely noticeable, but it's, it's perfectly intact. Everything's great. Um, and it's flat and clean and nice. And you know, it, it, it uh, does pop. So I think I made an improvement. It's nothing I'm going to have graded or anything. Um, and the next one, this is one I just recently bought, bought at a convention. And it looked really, really nice in the bag, but I didn't take it out and get a good, I didn't take it out and get a really good look at it. And it had a little bit of a crease here, which they kind of flattened out. It's not totally gone, but it's much cleaner now. Looks great. I mean, if it wasn't for that crease, this thing would get probably like a 9.0, but I think it's brought it down. But so it probably went from like a 6.5, 7 to maybe a 7.5. Maybe I'll get an 8 if I were to grade it, but I'm not going to grade it. Um, and this next one, this is one I just kind of threw in the batch. It had some crinkling on it when I bought it and I didn't realize it. Um, but it's, you know, it's a $10 book. So to pay to have it cleaned and pressed for $10 isn't really worth it, but I'm going to keep it and read it and, and love it. So, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. And then the, the last one was this Thor 161. Um, and this is, it's a beat up book. I mean, the when I took a look at it before I had it clean and pressed, the thing looked like hell, but it was completely and utterly intact. There's no like, I mean, there's a little chip here, but other than that, I mean, it, it, everything's there. It's tight, the staples are there tight. It's it's not dirty. It's just, you know, an older book and you know, it's got a little bit of a crease there, but this got, this is the one that probably got the most improvement on it. And I would say this went from like a five, 5.5 five to maybe a six, five, maybe a six. I don't know, but it's improved upon it. You know, it's a book I'm just going to keep. So that I'm not getting the CGC. OK, so I also had three books from CGC that came back. These were part of the original pressing process that I had cleaned, pressed and then sent off. The first one, I'm going to start with the first one. This is the one that was the biggest disappointment. I really thought this was going to get like an 8.0, you know, at best, but, you know, I was hoping for an 8.0. It came back 
a six five, and this is a this is Amazing Spider-Man, one twenty. This is the second part of the Hulk series that they, the two of them were in together. Um, and you know, I see some like there's a there's a little mark over here and stuff like that, but um, I th I still look at it. I'm like, this isn't a six five. I, I I don't know if I want to actually send this back, but um, there's I don't see a lot wrong with it. There's just a, you know a little bit of a little bit of mark up here. Um, and then a, a little fold right there. And other than that, I don't see anything wrong with it. So I'll check the greater notes again. But it was part of a little series that I had because I had originally purchased, this was the first book I purchased. So this isn't part of what I got back from CGC, but it was an 8.0 Spider-Man 121. And so I took my Amazing Spider-Man 122, sent that off, and I got an 8.5, and I'm very happy with that. This is the one I'm the most excited about, the result. I thought maybe it was gonna get an eight. I, I thought maybe it's possible it could get a nine, but um, you know, anything between eight and nine, I would've been happy with. It got an 8.5, so I'm very happy with it. And then the last one is Flash 172. This was, this was one, it's not worth that much. Um, and I probably paid more than it's actually worth. Sent it off to CGC. Didn't improve its value too much, but I just love this cover and I was excited to have this. This is just one that's like in my personal collection that I'd you know, i like to, I, I, I might even put it up, you know, and just put it up on, over my desk. Uh, it's, it's a great cover. I just love to look at it. And I was happy that it came back in eight. Um, it, there's really nothing wrong with it. It's all black, so it's really hard to get this in uh, a high grade, not show the chips, but there's like maybe one, two, three ticks there. And that's about it. And then it had a little bit of foxing over here and that's really what killed it. But it's clean other than that. And this is the one, you know, I had this you know, clean and pressed, but there's only so much they could do. But, uh, you know, to come back with an eight, very happy with it. There you have it. I wanna thank you for watching and, sh and allowing me to share my first grading experience with you. If you would, go ahead, click like, click subscribe down below. You'll get more videos just like this and some other stuff. Have a great day.